How's it going, Maria? Hello, Gio. How are you guys? Nice talking to you again. Jesus here with this quick video where I show you some of the work that I did this past month, the progress on your campaign. We are now um, halfway, so I kind of felt the need to show you what I'm doing in the back end, uh, what's coming in the future, and um, all that fun stuff. Again, I'm going to try to cover all these points real quick. Um, I actually want to get together with you guys. So I won't get into much details in regards to this. Once we sit down together and we brainstorm, I can I can explain a little bit better if you have any doubts, uh, you know, regarding any of these points. But first of all, I'm going to talk about analytics. This in uh, regards to your website strictly, uh, how your traffic is coming to your website from where, um, anything related to uh, traffic going to your website. Your Google My Business, this is anything related to your Google listing. I'm going to show you a listing that I have for from one of my clients, uh, just to show you some of the results that we should be getting uh, by the end of your campaign. We'll, we'll talk a little bit about backlinks and uh, some of the strategies that I use to build uh, backlinks to your site. And um, I'll talk to you about the S. SL certification was approved and is now um, done and active in, on your site. We'll talk about that. Pinterest. I created a profile on print Pinterest. I figure and I notice the great potential that we have on Pinterest. A big market there for for businesses like yours. So why don't we tackle that? And finally, we're just going to talk a little bit about the paid advertising that we did this month. Okay, so let's jump right to it and let's go to Google Analytics. Again, amazing tool that allows me to um, collect information regarding, in this case, Geo's painting. Uh, you know, just shows me shows me how your traffic is getting to your website, from where, um, what kind of devices they're using, locations, demographics, all all that stuff. Of course, you can really get into deep, deep, deep into Google Analytics. I kind of just go over the home page and, you know, I see uh, different sections that I, I might find interest. But for now, it's good to see that we're trending up in mostly everything. If we see green numbers, that means that it's good. We're trending up in users, we're trending up in sessions, and we're trending up in, in the durations of the session. This bounce rate, I uh, wouldn't really care much about it. It's just kind of like the percentage of uh, the time that people spend on, on, on each page on your site. So it just fluctuates a lot. We're going to see this number fluctuation a lot. Um, how you acquire your users? Well, you can acquire your users organically by referral, directly, social. This kind of this uh, shows me how you're acquiring your customers. I like to see the last 30 days. Let's show you the last 30 days. There's not much. M uh, most of your sessions are in Canada, which is good. This, you know, not much information. You're mostly be found on desktop. Most of your audience find you on desktop. Just 22% on mobile. No one this month uh, or this past seven days in this case uh, find you on on a tablet, but this is one of the uh, statistics that I really like when I'm looking at uh, Google Analytics. The page views on your website. This is on the last 30 days. We've seen that your home page. This is your home page, the one that doesn't say anything. That one had 75 page views in the last 30 days. So that's that's pretty good. We're trending up. I mean, every every month we're getting more and more page views. So that's what I like to see. I mean, there's, it's not difficult to, to, to identify when something is, is not doing good when you see that the page views are decreasing. In this case, they're all increasing. In uh, second place, we have this page that is one of the blogs that I posted, the hottest colors for your interiors in, two, in 2019. That one had 73 page views uh, in the last month. And just after that, just a bunch of pages. The gallery in videos are getting views, almost 30. That's good to see. And uh, blogs. Blogs, the contact us page. Obviously, people want to see how to contact you. 
and people want to see what your company is all about. So that's why they visit your About Us page. You know, following that, more, more blogs. Really, really impor important to keep posting content. In this case, uh, quality content. And it's good to see that the page views are trending up. There's way more stuff that I see over here in regards to acquisition, in regards to uh, all that fun stuff, in regards to your audience. But I will probably spend hours here talking about Google Analytics. So let's jump to Google My Business. In this case, this is just regarding your listing in Google and how it's behaving which I'm I'm happy to see the results we're kinda trending up in everything again in views we got more views in search we don't we don't have we know that we have to work on on getting the views on maps it's, it's hard to uh, rank in maps so but uh, we'll, we'll keep working on that this number is gonna be fluctuation to a, a lot but in searches for example you're getting found you know definitely trending up on on both direct and discovery searches we know direct is when people search for a geos painting your your name and this one is when people uh, search for a keyword in particular and that way they find your your listing so it's good to see that we're trending up in both of them actions it's also great to see that we're trending up in all of them you're getting visits you're getting calls you're getting views uh, your posts on uh, on your listing are getting views too as well. We I have posted quite a bit of articles in here too as well. Every time I post something on your Facebook page or in your blog page on your website, that one goes also in your Google listing too as well. But um, I wanted to show you some of the results that we're getting over here. Um, we're halfway your campaign. I want to show you how your campaign should look by the end, by the end of the the period. This is one of my clients. It's one of my first clients actually. He owns a towing company in Fort McMurray, and uh, it took me probably between four and six months to really, really start getting results for for this guy. Um, I kind of made the comparison because both of you have. The kind of business that is a phone driven business meaning that if someone is looking for a painter if someone is looking for a tow truck they're gonna go to Google and they're gonna make a search they're gonna perform a search for a painter in Calgary or for a tow truck and from there you're gonna you're gonna get your leads that way or a lot of your leads that way so you know for this guy it took me around four to five months to start getting these results but once we got there I mean, his phone is not is not stopping from ringing. Uh, he's getting found in both search and maps. He's like I say, his phone is ringing nonstop, and this is the slow season. This number usually increases to double. I've seen this one get to 130 calls during the winter. So it obviously, it all depends. But Google is very, very powerful, it, and if we play this game the right way and we take our time and we're patient with this SEO game uh, we're, we're, we're gonna get there we're, we're getting results we're halfway and with some of the, the strategies that I have in plan for for this coming month and months I'm, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get there where we see these these kind of results let's talk about backlinks backlinks which are simply links to your website from other websites and it just gives you that authority the more backlinks that you have from more authority websites the better that you're gonna be ranking in Google Google is gonna see that you have so many backlinks from all these authority sites that they automatically are gonna see that your business is legit and they're gonna give you that juice they're gonna be give you that uh, that uh, authority and they're gonna rank you on page one of Google so it's good to see that we're trending up in, in regards to backlinks too as well. We're at 11 right now. There should be more, but uh, it, it takes time to get approved for uh, for a lot of them. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but yeah, this this you know once you kind of build the link, it takes time for it to kind of 
appear or make it or, or being active on your campaign so but it's good to see that all of the links are follow follow meaning that they have that juice that we need because there's there's two kinds of links there's no follow and follow that I'm not gonna get into detail on that but we we want to get the follow links and one of the strategies that I use to get links it's uh, by commenting in blog posts you know it sounds simple but it's really really tedious and really really time consuming but it's you know it's an ethical way it's not uh you're not doing anything wrong by 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 applying this strategy so what i do i just go to google and i do a simple search for interior painting blogs or uh home design blogs or you know anything related to your niche in this case and anything related to painting anything related to uh, kitchen renos stuff like that so once i do that i get the results and i they start going one by one I start uh, you know reviewing each one of these blogs I make sure they're current uh, I mean I'm not gonna go check a blog that is 10 years old so I make sure that it's current I make sure that it's active what is what does that mean uh, that it has lots of comments and those comments have replies to it too as well that the blogger the author in this case is is, is constantly active respondent comments that people are posting so when you post a comment, the the author usually allows you to um, publish or to add a link with your comment. And in this case, a link to your website would be the case. So by doing that, once your comment gets approved by the author, that's, that's what I, I meant by uh, these blogs need to be active. Uh, because that way the author is going to go there and he's going to see your comment. In this case, it has to be a quality comment. You have to provide value and something really, uh, you know, something of value. So the author is going to read it and is going to approve your comment. And by approving your comment, that's going to create a backlink to your website. So, you know, I can go for hundreds and hundreds of blogs and start posting comments on each one of them. Each one of them has to be a different uh, comment, by the way. You can just copy and paste, obviously. And uh, that's that's one way that I use to to create backlinks. So it's fun. So your certification, your SSL certification. So what is that? I don't know if you remember, but uh, uh, Maria pointed this out the other day. When you go to geospainted.ca, over here used to say not secure. Well, now that I apply for that certification, it finally got approved. So now your site is secure. As you can see, you don't you don't see that sign anymore. The only difference over here in your domain name is that you see that letter S. Before the certification, you didn't have that. It was just HTTP, and then the you know the rest of the domain now has that S, meaning that is is uh, the certification is applied to this site meaning there's extra layers of security that uh, that was good or that is good for sites in the e-commerce uh, industry you know meaning that you sell products and services online uh, websites where people have to go and enter either credit card information or banking information of all sorts so that's why it's good to have the certification but hey your your site is now secure so that's that's awesome and since I'm showing you that I'm showing you some of the latest blogs that I that I posted. This one uh, fairly recent on the 21st. Uh, infographics. I'm getting into infographics, so I I'm, I'm, you're gonna see me more uh, posts like this one. And um, you know, I, there's actually more blog posts than that. Yeah, I got this one too the other day too. This one that I like too, you know, promoting your business. So the more content we we throw out there, the better, right? Of course, this content has to be of quality, so people get engaged and you know shares your your stuff and you know likes it, all that stuff. Pinterest, awesome. So Pinterest, I noticed that a huge part of of your audience is on Pinterest. 
uh, obviously anything related to renos kitchens stuff like that it's going to be on pinterest so so i decided to create a, a profile and uh you know I, I got to work i i created a profile for geos painting and um i created i believe 33 pins right away everything related to um your niche and um you know we're gonna start promoting these these pins with with your audience and that way you know get those eyes towards your your profile and and and, and promote your business that way i i noticed that uh doing i don't know why this is not working i already tried to reload this thing but yeah i'm not gonna do that right now so anyways i was gonna, just gonna show you some of the articles that i that i that i found online they they are mostly from pinterest so you will see articles that have let's say 20 comments on facebook they will have 200 comments on pinterest that same article so that tells me that your audience is definitely hanging out on pinterest so we're going to start you know getting more deeply into pinterest advertising and and see what that takes us as just as a different uh, strategy to as well I'm, I'm getting to see all the analytics and all the fun stuff on pinterest and i started to see that we're getting some some results already with some of the pins that i created um, so that's great to see yeah, as you can see like we're getting some impressions we just started last week so obviously we're not gonna have much much uh, movement over here but but you you are on pinterest and uh we're we're gonna ho go hard on pinterest as well as facebook so paid advertising just to finish real real quick um paid advertising well we did three campaigns i believe yeah we did three campaigns and we got awesome results on each each one of these three campaigns this one do you like green um this one i believe i i had them all these campaigns over here um i believe that one was just talking about trending colors for 2019 this one right here so that was one we got almost 2000 uh, people reached with that one lots of clicks and then it was this one about the kitchen also I got quite a bit of reach with a lot of engagement so that was good to see and the other one giving your foyer a beautiful repaint this one was way down here um, I don't should be around here oh it's right here I think so you know just posting quality content that's what's most important right now uh, get that engagement um, you know, keep uh, uh, testing, testing with with uh, Facebook ads. Like I said, I'm gonna start testing some ads on Pinterest to see what kind of results we get. But uh, I, I was saying that I actually want to get together with you guys um, this week if we can. Is halfway your campaign, so I would like to sit down and do a little brainstorm session. See uh, some of the strategies that I have in mind. See what you think. See any of your suggestions. And just to touch bases and see where we are and uh, where we're heading. All right. That was it for me uh, right now, uh, Gio and Maria. Again, nice talking to you guys. Take it easy. Bye.